What's up, guys? This is Chris from at Serial Flippin on Instagram. Thanks for joining me here today. Um, last Friday, we went thrifting because there was no estate sales in the area. So normally we'll go to estate sales on, on Fridays, but since there were none because of Super Bowl weekend, we decided to hit up the thrift. This is my favorite thrift in all of West Texas. It's the Family Thrift Center on Alameda Avenue in El Paso, Texas. And you can see we started with the kitchen goods. Uh, my wife, Rocio, she actually uh, was looking at, through everything. She did find a Pyrex bowl, and, um, which we'll show you a little bit later. Next, we hit up the bags. The bags is one of my favorite sections of, of the whole thrift because you can get really get some value there. There's not a whole lot of people that look through the bags. Like this camel pack right here. I'll tell you all about it later, but I decided to check the comps on it and it was worth taking. You can see. That way I just tossed up there is a Vera Bradley bag. My wife picked it up later, but I, I looked right past it. So that, that was a good uh, score. And we also got L.L. Bean. I like to check sporting goods because usually there's some um, nice t-ball bats, baseball bats, um, tennis rackets in there, but I didn't find anything on this trip. Okay, so um, made my way over to the electronics department um, and the small kitchen appliances. Okay, thumbed through that for a while and didn't find anything right away. There I am doing my due diligence and checking some comps. Of course, when you don't know, just go ahead and pick it up and go to comps sold on eBay. I like to look through the hats and then there's another big box that has more luggagey type bags in the back of this thrift store. This thrift store is absolutely enormous. It takes up half a shopping center. Okay, so as I was walking through here, I spotted some gold. This was an Xbox Gibson guitar hero guitar that had the cord on it comps of about 70 to 100 dollars okay so um that was a sweet score right there so i was really excited to find that especially since it's xbox you don't need to have the separate dangle for it so that was a pretty awesome find right there okay and you can see i'm mulling it over for a little while okay and we'll once I'm done with the electronics, uh, the thrift was a little bit packed in the, the line area is near like where the shoes are. So you kind of got to wait for the line to die down a little bit before um, going in and checking out the shoes. But um, you can see right there, the whole bottom shelf is empty. Um, real slim pickings in the men. I, I want to say this is the first time I ever went to the thrift and didn't pick up one pair of men or women's shoes or kids shoes for that matter. Then I like to head on over to the jeans. Okay, and then uh, long sleeve shirts. I thoroughly go through these all the time just because I'm quick at listing them and, and uh, they might take some time, but like right here, you can see I found a Robert Graham shirt and uh, I, I like selling Robert Graham. Although right now during the pandemic, like I guess a lot of people aren't going out like they used to, so they don't sell as quickly as they used to, but these things used to fly off the shelf. So hopefully as things go better, uh, people start going out more and dressing uh, to the nines with their Robert, Robert Graham shirts. Okay, so um, the next piece that I was able to find was a Woolrich flannel. Okay, um, three bucks, not bad. Should get about um, $35 on it. So uh, um, really, really good condition. All right, uh, then headed on over to the uh, other side of the shoe department. And um, looking at the women's shoes, you can see it's just been wiped out or maybe they're just not getting um, too many shoes this, these days. But um, that, nothing that I saw, like it, let me know at, at my, in the comments here or let me know on my Instagram at cross, cross, Serial Flippin if I missed anything that you might have spotted out of the corner of your eye. I did see some Uggs, but they were just uh, really high priced and I wasn't, just, I wasn't really the, willing to pay up for them. So um, yeah, I was really surprised that it was such a slow day in shoes today. Okay, and after that, um, I went through all the linens, all the jackets, okay, and then uh, headed on over to the short sleeve um, button up shirts or button down. I don't know if you're a button up or button down person. So, uh, look through this. The only um, short sleeve shirt that I was able to find was a LL Bean um, short sleeve hiking shirt. You can see it's right there in the bag. And I'll show you that when I get home. Okay, and then I, I like to go through the t shirts. I didn't find anything in particular. Nothing single stitch. There was a ton of affliction, so you could tell that's going out of style. Did a last second scan of the video games and then headed home.
Okay, so here it is, Friday before Super Bowl Sunday. This is our thrift store haul. Okay, normally we'd be going to estate sales at this time, but due to the Super Bowl Sunday, a lot of them companies that we normally go to the estate sales um, didn't have one, so we decided to go thrifting again on the Friday. So let me go over the haul. For, for this total haul, we spent around $48, so let me go through the items and the comps that we saw. Okay, first item here is um, a Camel Pack Alpine Explorer. Um, backpack here. It has um, a couple of slots for travel items, wallet and that. It's got the reservoir for the um, hydration pack if you put it in there. Of course, we're not going to sell it with the hydration pack. So there's um, pretty good comps on this one. Anywhere from um, $68 paid $5.99 out the door with that one. Okay, um, it was a pretty good day for bags actually. Okay, second bag here is a Vera Bradley uh, floral pattern backpack. This doesn't have that same quilted um, cotton pattern that other Vera Bradley bags have. Okay, you can see it has a hologram, so it is an authentic piece. Okay, so this one um, paid $7.99 out the door for it. And um, we got completed sold items anywhere from $15.99 all the way up to um, $75 on, on this. So pretty good comps on flo comparable uh, floral backpacks. Probably uh, listed for about maybe like $60 and that best offers happen. Okay, after that, we've got uh, LL Bean. Um, this is a tote bag here. Okay, this one right there, it's a full tote bag. $5.99 out the door for this one. These are anywhere from, um, I would say, 60 and up here. So you can see there, 60 and up on this bag here. So that one should do really good. Clearly embroidered LL Bean, really good comps. Okay, um, this one, I don't think we checked comps when we were at the thrift store. It was only $1.99, but it's the New England Patriots bucket cap um, NFL license. Right there, one size, it's got the classic Patriots uh, logo from the uh, late 80s, early 90s on it. So um, let's go ahead and check comps right now on that. Okay, with the vintage logo, the only one that I see is um, this one right here um, sold for 15. I'll probably list it for about 25 and let best offers happen. So I, thought, I just thought it was pretty cool. Okay, um, taking a look at our um, clothing items now. Uh, we did a lot of button up shirts. This is a Woolrich flannel. Okay, played um, $2.99 out the door. These, the comps are looking at anywhere from um, 25 to $45. So this is a, a real good wool flannel shirt. Anything Woolrich does good. Uh, next we got a Thrasher t-shirt. Um, it's not the old school um, Thrasher t-shirts. It's more of a reproduction, but at 99 cents, uh, should be really easy to list and um, sell pretty quickly on that one. So uh, we'll check comps on that. This next one here is it was a dollar fifty. The white tag was half off right now, and um, this is what we got here is an LL Bean um, hiking shirt. These shirts that have the ventilation on them, they do really well. This is a short sleeve, has the ventilated pockets, has the ventilated um, opening in the back. Okay, and I'm estimating that uh, uh, comps on this one will be um, twenty-five to thirty-five dollars on it, LL being good brand, everything. So this one, uh, this is a kid's Obermeyer uh, pair of um, snow pants, size six. And a lot of people will buy these kids snowsuits just because the kids uh, grow grow um, so fast. So this one, we had good comps on it, uh, 40 to $50 on them. So real good buy here has the adjustable layers on the inside, really nicely insulated. It's a color that pops, so it should stand out really well. We got our next item here is a um, rubber gram shirt. Okay, it has all, um, all the rubber gram buttons. Paid $2.99 for that. And um, I've never sold a rubber gram shirt for less than, uh, even a used shirt, even a faded used shirt at that have never sold one for less than $50. So, um, rubber ground, that's a brand to look out for. This is long sleeve. Okay, nice stripe and good design. This one was $3.99 out the door, okay? And it's um, kind of kitchen, man cake jar. You can put um, cookies in here, whatever, but 
What it is, it's a tribute to the Boston Garden. Right there, so you can see there's a um, Prague home of the Boston Bruins and then the Boston Celtics right there. Okay, of course, uh, both of those teams have a pretty huge following and um, the, the Boston Garden probably has a lot of nostalgic um, ties to a lot of people. The comps on this one were um, uh, anywhere up to $40. So um, that, that, that's a pickup. I've never sold anything like that, so we'll see how it does. What we have in here is um, an autumn colored um, Pyrex bowl. Okay, that one was um, $2.99 out the door. And, okay. it's and it's not for sale. Okay, it's not for sale, Francis. This is gonna go into our Pyrex collection. See, that's some of our Pyrex collection right there. Okay, uh, we like to switch things up for the season. Right now, Valentine's Day is, a, is about a week away, so working on the Valentine's Day one right there. So this is uh, for the collection. We'll probably display this out in autumn. But it's the one item that we got for ourselves and it's not for sale. Here's a piece. It's um, from the original Xbox. Paid um, $2.99 for it. It has the cord and everything with all the attachments. It's a Gibson um, Guitar Hero guitar with the strap. Okay. Um, this one is uh, model number 95157. And this one had comps of up to $100. So um, anywhere from 60 to $100 or, were the comps. So, and, and I'm pretty sure that this one's not gonna last. So that was our, our thrift store haul for today. Got a good amount of items, real excited about it. Um, paid $48.